Gettysburg, Pennsylvania is a charming, welcoming town bordered by those vast fields that bear the scars and blood of battle. Tourists from across America flock here, many from solid Trump country, reflecting on where the country is today. Here we stand in Gettysburg, a place where, where brothers fought, uh, families were divided. I see the same thing happening in America today, and it concerns me greatly. And I think there's a lot of, a lot of finger pointing, and I think we've sort of lost our heart. Jim Halbert is a pastor from Idaho, wrapping up a cross-country trip with his friend Gary Keeler, retired from a career in law enforcement. Both men voted for Donald Trump. Jim is having second thoughts. If the election were held again today, would you vote for Trump? I'd vote for Pence. Um, I don't know. It's, it's, it's hard. Gary? has an opposite reaction. I've actually grown more to support Trump just because of the extreme stuff that comes out against him. You know, it's, it was so over the top with some of the coverage on, you know, even major networks. I'm a stubborn person. That just made me want to support him more. But it was the pastor's views that seemed to echo along the streets here. You voted for? Trump. And how are you feeling about President Trump? Not good. Just not good. I voted for Donald Trump. Are you happy with the job he's done as president? Um, mm, it's my pain of him keeps going down every day. Jill Dwyer from Cleveland says she's not happy about some of the things the president has done. There's a lot of things that have um, made us a laughing stock of the world, and I'm kind of upset about that. Most of those we talk to aren't paying particularly close attention to the latest twists and turns in the Russia investigation and don't agree about the significance of what they are tracking. There may be some smoke where there's fire. Um, I will be very surprised if they come up with anything, certainly any kind of impeach type movement. Every president goes through something. This is his something. And he's just got to put on his man pants and go with it. It sounds like she's just trying to, I don't know, not let the truth be known, maybe? But everyone we spoke to visiting Gettysburg, including Nicole Elston from New York, showed real concern about where the divisiveness in the country will lead. I think it's very sad. I think it's very sad because I feel like that's part of what our country's been built on is people being able to have a difference in opinions. There's a lack of respect currently for that um, as, a per as a person. When we look at somebody across the table and realize that uh, we may not agree on something, but when we start hating each other for that, we're going to get right back to Gettysburg. And uh, I think we need to be careful of that.